Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Jordan Pickford. He's a great all-round goalkeeper, Peter. Uh, great at shot-stopping and dominant in his box. He also gets counter-attacks going with his accurate long passes. The opposition should be a little wary of committing too many men forward to attack because if it does break down, this guy can get them in trouble pretty quickly. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. So off we go then. Dunk. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket, it's just a stern lecture. Alan tries to get it forward quickly. That's a promising ball. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Brings it forward. Rondon. He's tried one. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Hoist it for... Hits one! And for a moment, time stood still. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. And it's Rondon. Ducore. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Alan. Alan gets it out to the wing. Back into the middle. Kenny looking to get on the end of this. Out for a throw. Gomez. Dina. So who can spark this game into life? Keane goes back to base. Keeper sends it forward. Kenny. Gray. Alan plays it out to the flank. And it's got through. Gray. And it's Gomez. Going for goal! This could fall anywhere. Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. This possibly the last play of the half. Great leap! Decent attempt, but... Not quite good enough. And the first 45 minutes are up. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. 
And we are up to the break. Everton really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through, obviously, the chances will come, provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than... Tries a shot! Marvellous goal! And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second-half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. So we have our breakthrough. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. And here's the chance to counter. Decent-looking ball. He's got it, and he's got... Has a goal! He has done it! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Everton are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So that's two now without reply. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Gray. Oh, shooting chance! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Towering header! Oh, not the best of headers. And back to base. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, they've got to deny him time and space, and, and that's one way of ensuring it. Rondon. Richarlison, whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. Out to the left it goes. Mina. Keane. Gomez plays it forward. Richarlison is flagged offside. It's being played forward. Receives it in a good position. Run. Run down! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. He may well regret that, you know. It's a fine run, and he's happy to keep going. <laughs> Gomez has created one goal already. Rondon. Gomez plays it backwards, and they'll try again. And it's played forward. Chance to break. Gets away from his opponents. Sticks in a foot to win it back. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Solid, if not especially fancy. Always in control. They did enough to win it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.